All right, this is Swannerton Road. Right off Highway 1, headed to Santa Cruz. This one uh, suffered last, uh, last summertime. The fires got, got this area pretty bad. A lot of people lost their homes here. construction trucks uh, pulling on and off. Yeah, I can see it. Not looking that good. Normally bumpy like this, but it's still a good road. careful. Be respectful for the people that live here. better but damn that V4 Toronto nothing sounds better maybe a maybe a GT bike G, or Moto GP bike that's about it this bike this this one sounds pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it got a V twin nasty sound spins up pretty quick Again, I don't know how this road is, so I'm going to take it easy on it. Every time I come down it for the last year, it's been different. This is where you see it's got sand. I actually activated, I was using my little rear brake and activated my ABS on the rear. This was like this last time I went through here. Which was only like a week ago actually. Yeah. But they do put signs up like other roads didn't. Uh, I won't talk about that now, but... Beautiful 
cold day up here today along the coast. A little fogged in morning, but weather-wise, I mean, hey, probably 90 right now in Livermore where I live. But right up here, probably sitting at about 68, 65 motorcycle uh, riding. Well, hey, that's pretty close to perfect. Watch the sand. See it? Yeah. Take it easy through here, Bob. on the pegs. Winterton Road, right off Highway 1. The next town uh, that I'm coming to is going to be Davenport. Probably going to stop there and get lunch at the Whale Bakery. Yeah, first Super Duke I had, I uh, went down on one of these roads up in Santa Cruz, ended up stopping at that firehouse to put a stent on my broken wrist. Uh, had to ride all the way home back to the Bay Area with a twitchy 990 Super Duke R 2008 with a quarter turn throttle. That was fun. But hey, if you want to ride, you got to be able to get the bike back home when you when you have it down. When you lay the bike down, preferably you don't ever lay the bike down on the street. But my both my tires. Now uh, we were just cruising. Really, there was like four of us riding, and uh, we were cruising. I uh, forget what road it was, but you know we were probably doing like 35. Just. Uh, not, not, not sport riding at all. Come around this one corner and there was uh, pine needles all over the road. Both my uh, tires caught it at the same time and just just completely went sideways. Nothing I could do, it just never gained traction. And uh, bike, bike low sided. I disconnected from the bike, was sliding backwards. Uh, bike itself slid into the uh, ditch, uh, which shortly after that I followed it. Unfortunately, uh, my wrist caught the tail end of the bike, or the tail of the bike, and bam, busted wrist. Anyway, that was uh, three, three Super Dukes uh, before this one. That was a good bike too, but man, it had a weight. They didn't have the electronics back then, so, you know, one of the things I think they wanted to do, to, uh, KTM to differentiate themselves from other twin motorcycles, is they wanted their bike to rev quickly. And uh, how they did that is, is uh, I believe anyway, is they, they put an extra light flywheel uh, on it. 
and uh, but it didn't have the electronics we got today to, to smooth out the V-twin motor and uh, you know it was it was basically an on and off throttle bike if you were in tight corners and you could just you know slam corner to corner with uh, the throttle you were good to go but if you had to do any cruising boy that was a that was just drive you nuts because every little bump you'd hit they would twist the bike back back and forth forward it just you know throw your weight weight on the back wheel on the front wheel back and forth it was, it was horrible anyway uh, they came out with uh, a 2014 version oh my god what a difference uh, electronics uh, uh, not as good as this bike but you know with, with modern electronics uh, they uh, they were able to smooth out that, that light flywheel quick revving uh, V twin motor, and uh, this one is just another level past that. I should have went right there, but I didn't. Uh, I have to wait now.